Yeah, whenever you get to a, a new waterway, from a fly fishing point of view, it's just so exciting because you're going, what's the weather like? What flies they're going to take? What sort of fish? Uh, and it gets pretty exciting. It's like, I guess, equivalent to golf. If you play on the same course all the time, you know exactly what's going to happen. A dog leg left, right. You go to a different course, it's all new and exciting, and it really gets your um, skills attuned, uh, and you put them into practice in a, in a new environment. It's just great. So uh, really excited about today at Holbury Lakes. Fantastic. Simon's the big boss nice here, mate. You. Yeah, you're in charge of everything here. Yeah, we're in between Rom's in Stockbridge, really. Yeah. Um, Salisbury's not too far away either. Um, so yeah, we've got four lakes in total. Um, you've got Pond, Island, Long and Willow. They're all a little bit different in character uh, for each other. Uh, Pond's a little bit more suited for beginners. The stocking level's a bit higher. Um, the fish size throughout is, is all about the same though. The stocking's about the same throughout the lakes. Yeah, yeah so we've got rainbow trout and we've got blue trout here as well. Oh, okay. Um, and we've got some, some big browns. Yeah. One in every so many rainbow trout naturally comes out a little bit blue. Right. Um, so over the years, they sort of genetically bred them um, to, to, to get the blue ones, basically. Um, and about, I think it was about 15 or 20 years ago, we were actually right. one of the first to stop the blueies um, in here. So, yeah. yeah. Beginner courses and things like that here as well? Yeah, so yeah. we've got instructors we can get hold of. We've got tackle hire as well. Um, we, can, we can teach you from from whatever sort of basics you've got, if whatever knowledge base you've got. So, sure. Yeah. This is uh, the fly that you, you reckon is going to do the, the damage yeah. over here? Yeah. So this is a blue flash damsel, right. um, and it is by far the most popular fly on our lakes. Um, catches catches the most fish, definitely, yeah. Um, it's designed sort of to imitate a bit of a fry. It's nice and sparkly, quite big. Um, you need to fish it fairly quickly, um, stripping it back fairly quickly um, should definitely get you a fish. Yeah, cool. So that should be good. We'll put that in front of a fish and see if we can't get him yeah. to tug on the end. We should be all right, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. All right, we'll get out and have a look. Okay, cool. cool. In case there's a good head of blues out there. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just saying people come to fish just for the, the blues because uh, it's such a, a prized fish, I, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah. So they're definitely. Yeah, very they're just special. A little bit, a little bit unusual. Something different. Yeah. Uh, they fight a lot harder. They can be a lot trickier to, to catch as well. Yeah. Uh, a bit more of a Good challenge. Hiding. There's one. See him chasing it. Yep. Come on, mate. No. And the water, Simon, here is just so clear. Yeah, so we're we're fed by the river, and the river the river rises from the blue pool, which is about half a mile upstream from us. So yeah, absolutely crystal clear. Who he wants that fly? Yeah, we're chalk stream fed, so yeah. absolutely crystal clear. Yeah. Yeah, we're on Long Lake now, um, which is the biggest of our four lakes. Yep. Um, it's about an acre um, in total. I'm just mesmerised by these blue fish. You'll, uh, <laughs> I'll show you some in the camera in a minute, but they are striking. Yeah, they're properly blue. Yeah. <laughs> as blue as the blue sky. Yeah. And the sight fishing aspect of, of Hobby Lakes is just so clear. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're as clear as the chalk stream rivers are. Visibility to about 12. 14 feet at the minute, maybe. Um, so you literally, you walk around, you see your fish, um, you sort of pick the one you want to go for and, and then cast a fly over it, really. Um, and the blues stick out like sore thumbs. Um, and they're a lot of fun. Yeah, but that's certainly the way to do it, like spotting your fish, you know, having yeah. a thought process, the right fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. And yeah. then you can sort of see how the fish reacts to your fly and you certainly. can yeah. change it up if it's not working or change the colour or retrieve or whatever. Here he comes, he's coming after you. Oh, he missed it. And he's shot. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. And that's a uh, blue trout. And that's incredible power. Simon did say that they have a lot more go in them than a, uh, a rainbow. Nice and aggressive. And they just stand out. They're just like an electric blue. Incredible. We'll get him in pretty quick. They've got some serious he power does, in them. Yeah. You won't stop that one too easily. No. It might only be a two pounder, but they fight well above their weight. Yeah. We'll get him in perfect. Good. 
They're a little bit silver. Yeah, they're a little bit more silver. So the blue you can see is from that sort of side, from the top in the yep. water. But when they're on the side, they're almost as silver as a salmon is. Yeah. Um, absolute stunning fish, really. Fin perfect. This was a perfect example of, of this quality of fish we've got here. Absolutely fin perfect. Um, not a mark on him. Um, gorgeous blue across the well, back. A lot more power than the rainbows, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Just, you yeah. can just... Yeah. Uh, did he go airborne when he took it? Yeah. Normally they take it and just jump yeah, and just exactly. die. Yeah. Just seeing there, they, uh, I'm just mesmerised by these uh, <laughs> these blue sun. It's, they're they're yeah. beautiful fish. Yeah. There, so this is the River Dun. Dun. Um, rises about half a mile upstream in the Blue Pool. Um, yeah, it's fairly clear this time of year. Yeah, it's looking all right. And, and then we've got Willow Lake. That's so pretty cool having the, the river and lake right next to each other. You yeah. Can fish both. Yeah, um, we do a four fish lake and river ticket, which yeah. is 75 pounds, which allows you to take four fish from the lakes and, and have a go in the river as well. It varies your day up a little bit more doing that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon creeping here. Got any little hairs ears or little no, that that's what you want there. Yeah, good. I'd go for something something like red. that. Yeah, no this. No the brown. Yeah, yeah the brown just, one. It's got a bead on it, is that yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Just a slow. Yeah, just a retrieve. slow sinking little nymph and if you just sort of creep in these trees here and just sort of try and yes. just flop it right in front of the fish. So there is different styles. I mean you go from a, a big stream of fly to yeah, a yeah. bit delicate and stalking them Yeah, like and then even all the way to a dry fly as well. Yeah. Um, in the evenings you'll catch fish on daddy long legs and um, sedge patterns and that kind of thing as well, no worries. Yeah, yeah again, it's another another crystal clear lake. Where... And this, I guess, with the in, in invention of, of lakes like this, it made fly fishing much more affordable? Yeah, for the definitely. Yeah, sort of so yeah. it's sort of seen, well, I guess it still is sort of seen as a bit of an elitist sport. I mean, you're paying sort of Two, three, four hundred quid to be on a river. Yeah. Um, whereas a lake like this, thirty-three pounds for a two fish ticket for the day. Yeah. Um, a lot, a lot cheaper, a lot more affordable yeah. um, for, for the average bloke, I guess. Yeah. And you get to take the fish home too. Yeah, so exactly. You can yeah. go back home to your wife or your husband and say, "Look what I've got yeah. for my money. You've got something to produce exactly. for it too, which yeah, is pretty yeah. cool." So yeah, well, I better put this in front of a fish and get yeah, him to take it. Yeah, go for it. Right. And that's what's appealing to a fly fish. You can see the fish like that. Yeah, and you can watch, wait until you see a big one go past yep. and then slowly drop the fly in front of him and hope he turns and takes it. Yeah. Nice one there. Oh, that's a good one down there. Here he comes. And straight past it. Yep. That's when it's good when you see that little wink of their, uh, their mouth. Yeah, just the white so flash of the mouth. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there we go. That was a nice quick little release. <laughs> Long distance that's catch and release. Yeah, that saved a little bit of time, but um, well, that's what it's about. If you can get that fish to see that fly uh, and get him to take it, doesn't really matter, you know, whether he gets off. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's all pretty cool. And it's good there's different types of um, areas, I guess, like where this is a little bit harder, where you might need a roll cast or stuff, others are more open. Yeah, yeah, so I, I try and vary the fishery. Um, so I try and leave little bits of it like this, little, like a bit more wild, so, so that it requires a little bit more skill to get the fish and yep. a little bit more skill, hopefully, equals reward. Um, and it's, it's, if I'd taken, say I took this tree out for example, then you could stand on that point and throw a, throw a lure out and fish all of it, but where would be the fun in that when you, when you can creep under and give, have a little roll cast and yeah, so a bit of, bit of variety yeah, is always good. Exactly. I think everybody is a, a fly fisherman, the better you get, you prefer harder fishing and, and you can certainly do that in the same area. So yeah, very, definitely. Very yeah, the blueies, because the blueies are quite bright, they've often seen quite a lot of flies. Yes. Because they've been targeted quite a lot, so they can get a little bit hook shy sometimes. But. 
So they're not always easy, mate. It's not like coming to a like a trout farm. You've still got to like spot your fish, do your you techniques do. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it can be quite challenging. Um, we call it we call it fishing, not catching, <laughs> don't we? For a reason. <laughs> They waited until we tied a fly on before they all shot off. They're so they're so wily these yes. wild fish compared yeah. to the stock. Yeah. The stock ones that we've been fishing for in the lakes. They're, it's a completely different ball game, really, isn't it? Yeah. A lot more challenging. But I can imagine with it being so clear, people could spend the whole day here because you've got wild fish. Um, it just so stimulating is to see them and you, you the conditions will change throughout the day as well so yeah different stuff will start hatching you'll be you'll be trying to match the hatch at the the whole time really and just just trying to trying to trick that that wild brown trout into taking it it's such a rewarding feeling when it finally finally does, does come take. up and take that dry it's brilliant so. there. Hey, there we go. brilliant <laughs> oh, well done i could just see um, yeah, just we're watching see. the fly and yeah. he's having a bit of a munch on it. Was oh, he's, a, cool. he's a bonny little fish as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Excellent. Yeah, wild brown trout. Oh, he's popping back and swim away Thank happily. You. There he goes. Well done, mate. Good yeah. choice of well fly. Done. So good when you can see the fish, Simon, isn't it? I mean, that's yeah, that's why. Yeah, it's the beauty of it, really. Yeah. yeah. So why, why, why we fish here? Yeah. Come on, mate. Oh, nearly, nearly. They're just in good condition, aren't they? There's yeah, of, fighting fit. A lot of uh, good tucker in here, anyway. Yeah. And the cool water would help them. Uh, the metabolism. They feed pretty well. I think it's all. Good news for the trout. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. On. Yeah. The first lake you'll see. Uh, this lake's got quite a few more wild brown trout. They, in. Basically, they've got in from the river um, and sort of grown up in here. Yep. Um, so if we do catch any of those wild brownies, we can we can throw them back. Um, but other than that, it is stocked the same with with rainbows and blues as the other lakes are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can see the two. You probably should see that blue in the background. The difference. They're just. Fish. So I'm you're the, uh, the, the chief here. Yeah, yep. And he's in. In. Well hey, Beautiful. Well Beautiful. Okay. Lovely little fish. They're in yeah. good condition. And I suspect yeah, in this clear all... water they'd eat really well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're really tasty. Now I can't tell you enough how mesmerising these blue trout are. They just sit there ghostly like and just swim around pretty nonchalantly but they're quite aggressive and powerful and a great fish to target. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh. They certainly are more or well, sometimes aggressive but plenty of power too. We like that one. Oh, it's a little brown. Simon was saying that's coming from the uh, the river. We might just get him back. Just a lovely little fish. Beautiful. They fly out. Perfect. Well, excellent, mate. That was a great day. I mean, it's just got everything here at uh, your lakes, mate. You're Good, pretty special. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Browns. Rainbows and blue trout. Yeah, yeah. perfect. So, uh, Hobby Lakes, I think it's one of those special places. Yeah. It's very affordable and yeah. great fishing. It still requires a good bit of skill. Yeah, sounds good. So, yeah. thanks, mate. Thanks no for being thanks part for of us. Yeah, letting an Aussie come over and uh, right. you know, annoy you for a little bit of no, time. Well yeah. done. No, it was good. So.